Coastal Restoration Society is really excited to be partnering with Pacific Salmon Foundation. We're building capacity where populations of European green crab have not invaded yet, providing grants and gear to primarily Indigenous nations so that they can run their own early detection monitoring programs and keep an eye out for European green crab. It's a lot more costly to try and remove a high density population. And high density populations have the risk of depleting native shore crab species, outcompeting commercially important species like juvenile dungeness, destroy eelgrass beds, and really predate on bivalves and other shellfish. Basically starting early is the best chance that these nations can have to prevent all of those really negative results. So today we are setting out two different types of traps. We have a folding prawn trap and a minnow trap. The main goal of this project is to be creating capacity in the local First Nations so that they can do their own monitoring in their territory. And if you do find them in this early detection trapping, it gives you a way better chance of being able to eradicate them. Part of salmon recovery is looking at the whole ecosystem. There's a big focus on the freshwater habitats, which are critical to salmon survival. A missing piece is often the estuaries and nearshore environments. And so these habitats are really critical in their early juvenile period before they make their way to the open ocean. When the fish get out to the ocean, especially in estuaries, they have high predation rates by birds and seals. And the impacts of green crab are known to take out the vegetation that's needed for these Pacific salmon to hide. Eelgrass is so important and we know that the green crab have a devastating impact to eelgrass beds. So this work is very important and needs its support. This project is just another example of why collaboration is so important. From Lekwungen territory all the way up to Kwakutl territory, now we have a network of people doing standardized methods. We're all sharing information. And so I think that's the big piece of this puzzle is that having everyone work together, that's really the only way that you can deal with aquatic invasives here.